there was a report showing that the current movement of Hong Kong people is more or less driven not by hope but by desperation. Scenes like that, more confrontation, uh, more escalation of force, more violence took place on the street, and both from the police side and from the protester side. But of course, the degree of force that the protesters used is never comparable to the police because they have uh, live emulation, they have all the resources provided by the, uh, by the police force. But still, there's been uh, more and more scenes of uh, the protesters like throwing uh, petrol bomb in order to create fire barricades to protect themselves or even occasionally that may harm the others. Uh, but if we look back to the root cause of such escalation of force, we could see that uh, the protesters are actually living under a constant fear constant threat of intimidation, of shots, or life threats, of, or, or threats of disappearance, and they are actually very fragile. We don't have a perfect victim in Hong Kong story. These people make mistakes. These people, they may use a wrong degree of force towards um, someone else, or they may have harmed people that they are not intended to harm. But um, that's actually the way that the root cause of the uh, uh, the lack of accountability of the police force make them into such a terrified, terrified uh, mentality, and they were doing something that I felt it was um, making us losing some of the support uh, internationally.